Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I want to show you how to put together a quick and simple file upload with Node and JavaScript. Starting off the file upload example, you can see we've got Notepad++, a friendly browser in the file system explorer with a nice folder named upload-example, where I'm going to create a brand new file. There's going to be my server-side JavaScript file named upload.js. And once that's created, I'm going to open that up in Notepad. And starting off, I'm just going to create a very simple HTTP web application that is almost a basic Hello World application. It's just going to be a little checkpoint. I just want to make sure that Node is working. So I'm just going to create a little web service that responds back with a little note inside the browser. So I'm going to use that HTTP library to create a server instance. It's going to handle the request and response cycle. And to the response, we're going to write a little 200 code header that lets people know that everything is going well. And on top of that, we're just going to tell the user, hey, the Node.js file uploader has met the current checkpoint. Now, again, really nothing interesting here. This is really more than anything else just to make sure that everything is working as far as Node goes and creating the HTTP component. If that doesn't work, we're not going to get anywhere. But with this done, all I have to do is go over to this folder where the upload.js file is, open a command prompt or a bash shell, and simply say node. Let's run that upload.js file. Hopefully there will be no errors. You can see the cursor just waits for some input. All I have to do is say localhost colon 80 over here, and boom, it says, hey, the checkpoint has been met. So that's great, the server's working. I also wouldn't mind getting a, a basic request response cycle from a web page because we're gonna need a web page that will upload files. So I'm gonna create my uploader web page. I'm just gonna call this index.html because that's sort of the standard. Open up index.html in Notepad as well and create a basic little HTML file. Now what's important here is the form element. The form is going to call localhost colon 80. I'm gonna say slash upload, although that actually doesn't matter because we haven't actually handled any URIs or special paths in our application, but that yeah, looks nice. And the encoding type will be multi-part form data which tells this form that, well, you know, it might be getting a, a file upload, so handle it appropriately. So we're now gonna have a form that calls on our file uploader web service or microservice. It does it through a post invocation. And we need a, a little file uploader button. And that's achieved by creating one of these input types of type file. And the name of the file as it gets uploaded to the server is going to be file upload. That name is going to come in handy in a moment. We're going to see that come back to us. And of course, if we've got the file selector, that's what that is, the file selector. Well, we can also put in a little submit button so that when somebody's selected the file, well, it actually get sent to the server. So input type equals submit. That looks good. And my form and the body and the HTML and life is good. Now just on due diligence, it looks like I missed a T there. So I'm going to add that in, but make sure that's all working correctly. Make sure that's all coded correctly and then open up the file in a browser. And you'll notice that, well, there's the submit button that maps to that submit button there. And there's also a file chooser. I'm going to click cancel there, which maps to this 
right here and the file we're going to upload is going to be named file upload. Now, I have not implemented any code to handle a file upload, so we're not in the clear yet. However, on this file here, if I click submit, I do at least get the response from the server side Java component. So I now have an HTML page that can call this Node.js a web service and life is good. Um, but the next step is to actually handle the file upload. So here's what you do. Yeah, you close this window here. And I said close the window, I actually meant click control C to stop node from running that program. And you need to install a couple of tools. I need to install FS, which is the file system library for node. That's gonna allow me to take the file that gets uploaded and move it to the appropriate folder. And I'm also gonna install a library named Formidable which allows us to do file uploading. It greatly simplifies the task of handling files as they are sent to the server. And so I need to make a reference to those in the top of my Node.js file. And then inside my code, well, this is where things are gonna get really interesting. I'm gonna create an instance of that formidable form to represent the form that just was just submitted. The factory method there that gives me an instance of that formidable form. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna parse that data that came in. And in parsing that, I'm gonna first get the path of the file that was submitted to the server. I wanna take the files that was submitted to the server wherever it was put on the server and then move it into my upload example folder. So I need to get the location of the existing file and then move it somewhere else. I need those two parameters in order to move the file. So get the path of the current file. So file.fileupload.filepath. Now, one thing people miss out on, file upload there, it's not part of the API, that maps to this value right here. So those two things have to be in cahoots. If they're not, you're gonna end up having a problem. Okay, so this gives me the file path. The next thing I wanna do is set the new path. And I'm gonna set that to C colon upload example. And that is this folder right here. I want to upload those files into that folder. And when I upload them, I want to give them the same name that they had, not the same path, but the same name that they had as they were uploaded. So I'm going to say new path plus equals. So take the new path, make it the path plus the original file name. And there we go, get the original file name and so now the file that gets uploaded will get put into this folder with the same name that was used when the, the file was selected. Okay, this looks good. After this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a rename. Now, look at that, I missed the, uh, misspelled the parse, just fix that up. So here's where I do the moving and the renaming, fs.rename, file path, new path, and as this completes, I'm gonna write to the client, hey, the Node.js file upload was a success. And then something I didn't do before, end the request response cycle. So I'll tighten that up there, tighten that up there again, and it looks like everything is coded properly on the server although you do have to spell things properly. Okay, and with that coded 
and that saved, almost forgot to save, it's time to run it again. So I'm just gonna issue the command, node upload.js, and ooh, I spelled require wrong. So I'll run that again after saving that. And now the node file runs. I can come over here, do a refresh on the index.html page, choose a file, I'm gonna choose the AWS logo, and then click Submit. And when I click Submit, look what happens over here in the Upload Example folder. Boom, you see the AWS logo getting uploaded, and we get the message, Node.js file upload success. And that's how you create a simple HTML form that can upload files to a server using Node.js and the formidable library. Now I'm gonna take this one step further. I'll do this quickly, but some people wanna use pure JavaScript on the client as well. Maybe even do this through Ajax. And you know, it's not too hard to do that. Instead of having this form here, I'm just going to replace all of the form with, first of all, an input field that is essentially the file uploader. Notice that the name is file upload as used in the Node.js file. And I'm gonna have a little button here and the button's gonna say upload. And on click, it's gonna call a little script that uploads the file. And I gotta throw that script in. I'll throw that just before the end body tag. And you can see here, it takes that file upload, sends it to the server, localhost slash upload, does it through a post. And hopefully when this runs, everything runs swimmingly and the upload happens through an Ajax based call. So there's no need for a full request response cycle from the browser to the server. I'm gonna delete that AWS logo there. I'm gonna run the node file again, although actually I didn't need to do that. Um, what I do need to do is refresh the index.html file. Okay, and so we've now got the latest file here. It looks a little different. I didn't put a break tag in there. And let me choose the AWS logo this time and click upload. And you notice that the AWS logo gets uploaded, but there's no request response cycle. I can come over here and pick the Ubuntu logo, upload it. Ubuntu gets loaded. Jeez, I could do this all day long. I could get that other AWS logo and upload that as well. But as you can see, this is now being done with JavaScript, both on the client, making this asynchronous, and with the JavaScript up on the server as well. And there you go, that's how easy it is to write a little web application that uploads files to the server using Node.js and JavaScript. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Node, JavaScript, enterprise development, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and please subscribe on the YouTube.